Hey, 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 family, it's your girl Evelyn here, and I am back with another video. Listen, I know it's been a little bit of a minute, but that's okay. I'm back again. We're not going to talk about it. We're just, we just going to say Happy New Year and, and roll right into this, okay? And so I wanted to share with you the planners that I'm using for this year. So last year, I did a video talking about why I'm not doing a vision board and what I was doing instead. And I'm kind of continuing down that path. I don't think there's anything wrong with a vision board. I have been a fan of vision boards for many, many years. But I have a, a goal-getting system um, that I use, that I teach my clients in my culinary entrepreneurship programs that has really helped me make progress in my life on the things that I want to do, accomplish, and experience more so than any vision board, even though I've had great success with vision boards, okay? So I want to share with you the three planners that I'm using and why I'm using three planners um, and, and how they all work together. So the first planner that I'm using, and I have used this, I wouldn't even call it a planner. It's more like a goal setting book. And I've used this almost as long as the company's been in existence. I think I've used this for seven years um, and I've gotten even more committed to it this year, which is the Power Sheets by Cultivate What Matters, okay? So this is a goal planner. So this is not like your typical day-to-day -day planner, right? This is more so for setting your goals for the year, looking long-term at your life and kind of working your way backwards, breaking down your goals into categories, and then kind of tracking um, the day-to-day, week-to-week, and month-to-month -month progress on your goals. So this is not like a weekly planner or a daily planner or anything like that, but this is more so of how to keep track of your, how to set your goals and keep track of your goals. And th my favorite thing about this goal planner is the pre-work. The pre-work is really, really in-depth and it helps you, it helps you set goals in a really robust way. So, I really wanted their linen color. So they usually do lots of vibrant colors and I procrastinated and um, I, I waited too long and it sold out. So I picked teal because I thought it was pretty. Um, I could have gotten pink, but I've done pink in years past. I, I really wanted the natural linen color and you're going to see why. Because my next planner is called the self-care planner and i will link to all of these planners below so that you can you know take a look at them see if you like them but this is my day-to-day -day planner so um what i love about this planner is that it gives me an option to do like a monthly overview well there's two different versions and i can't remember which version i have but there's an option to i can do like a weekly overview and then i can do day to day so on the inside like this is a whole week right and i can lay out what i want to do each day i am not a person who uses a planner for like actual appointments that has to go on my digital calendar because I need reminders and things like that. But what if I if I kind of want to look at like, okay, here's what I want to accomplish on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I kind of want to lay out the things that I want to do in my week. The things that don't necessarily go on my calendar go in here. And this is what I use to plan weekly and daily. So when people talk about, you know, planning your week out, planning your days out, that is what I use this for. Now, I recently was sent the 1% planner and I am so excited about this because one of the things that I teach my clients in business is about that successful people don't do one thing 100% better. They do 100 things 1% better and that's really the distinction. So when this planner company reached out to me and was like, hey, you know, are you interested and, um, you know, trying our 1% planner, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I teach this philosophy in, um, in with, my, with my clients, right? And so this planner, what I love about it, just like the self-care planner, is undated, okay? So if you've ever been a person that, you know, you started a planner and then you fell off and then you kind of started back again and then you get to the end of the year and you're like, I didn't even really get my money's worth because... It was dated and I can't really go back and use it. The thing that's fantastic about the self-care planner and about the 1% planner 
is they're undated, okay? So what I plan on using this for is for something I call the Quantum Quarter. And I I did not come up with that name. There was I came across a YouTube video several, several months ago of a woman talking about her quantum quarter. And what was interesting is that I had already, like her framework, I, I didn't even know her. I had never watched any of her YouTube videos before. But um, I was I was doing basically what she was doing, but I wanted a name for it, right? And so when I came across her video, I was like, oh my gosh, this is what I'm doing. And so I'm going to be using my 1% planner for my quantum quarter. Now for me, you know, I've done a video talking about growing with the seasons. So I'm going to set this planner up and get really clear on what my metrics are for my quantum quarter while I'm still like in the winter time. So, you know, if you're somebody who likes to purchase your planners at the beginning of the year, I say go ahead and grab them and that way you can have time to set them up. But because this is undated, I'd like to officially start my year when spring starts because just um, agriculturally, that is the start of the new year, basically. And so, you know, the energy in the earth and in nature is all about starting new things. Whereas I feel like a lot of times for me personally and some other people I've seen, we struggle because we're trying to start things in the dead of winter when everything is dead and everything is resting. Right. But I like to get my planners at the beginning of the year because I like to set them up and use this kind of slower time, these shorter days to plan out what I want to be focused on. So um, what's great is it helps you outline um, what your like three major focuses or goals are going to be. They call them OKR, objectives and key results, basically, um, for the quarter. And then it gives you like your quarterly plan based on the categories that you want to use. And then you go into your weekly plans and it has a daily planner now the reason why this is going to be different than my self-care planner is because this is going to be specifically focused on the things that i am going to be um doing in my quantum quarter where is this is more like the day-to-day -day ongoing things that where there's no end in sight <laughs> Okay, like this is just like regular life admin maintenance. Okay, this is specifically around some things that I want to focus on. I love the little um, rubber band here. I love how simple it is. I love the size of it. So this is my self-care planner. This is my 1% planner. Look at how they match. Okay, and then this. Can you imagine if I had gotten this in the linen? This is my goal planner. So these, I just keep these out on my desk every day. And this is kind of how I run my life and my business. Now, one of the things I actually thought about doing was getting another one that's just for business and then one that's just for personal. So if you are an entrepreneur like I am and you have like you know, quarters where you have three like major goals and you don't have to use all three. This would be fantastic for that. If you're somewhere where you're like, I don't need two, you can just do, you know, your personal career goals in one. I still think this would be fantastic. So I'm so excited to get this set up, but I didn't want to market and all that kind of stuff until I had a chance to film the video. So like I said, I'm going to be leaving, um, the the links to all these planners down below i can't remember if they give me a discount code or not if they did i will leave that in the description box you know shout out to the one percent planner for sending this to me y'all know i've talked about being a stationary addict before so i'm so excited to use this for my quantum quarter and what's great is that if you're not familiar with the terminology that's inside of this, okay, um, the Just One Club, they have blog posts on their website walking you through, you know, what an OKR is, an objective, and a key result. But because, I, you know, I grew up in corporate America before I became an entrepreneur, I'm very familiar with that. I love that there's notes. I wish more planners would have notes pages because sometimes I just need to, and there's one for every single day of the week, you know, and you can still do your gratitude in here, you know, today's learnings, the 
you know, morning thoughts. There, there's, there's a lot in here. And when you go to their website, you'll be able to see a little bit more about the planner. So anyway, those are the three planners that I'm going to be using this year. Let me know what planners you use. And I also use a digital calendar for appointments because like I said, I've slept since then and I I need the calendar to remind me. So that's it, y'all. That's the planners that I am using for this year. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.